What's going on guys? Tess here. Welcome back to some more Sky Den. Hope you guys do enjoy the episode. And by the way, no, it is not the rain you don't hear, but the game volume, I, I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I can't hear my own rain, which I guess is actually a good thing because I can hear everything else. But um, anyway, welcome back to Sky Den. If you guys missed the last episode, you guys can go check it, uh, check it out. Link should be in the description. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start off today by doing a bunch of farming. And, uh, yeah, in the last episode, we finally completed the Rite of Fire, which was good because it kind of uh, unlocked uh, the Fritz, the little skeleton guy that sits outside the Sky Den. He can now do a bunch of trades, and it seems like we should definitely keep focusing on our farming because he does a lot of trades that focus um, on your farming materials. So, we're going to end up doing that. We should probably, um, I'm thinking we should end up extending our sugarcane farm and make it, like, much, much, much larger. Uh, because I can imagine that we're going to need a lot of sugarcane So we may end up doing that in this episode or we may end up doing it in the next episode I don't know it depends on what we got time for so and then none of this has grown yet All right, so also I um we have so many mob drops. It's a little bit ridiculous We may even make another devil chest. I made a, a chest above here just to get the bones out of the way um, But yeah, that's that uh, we got a bunch more cactus uh, Sugarcane is going pretty pretty well, and that's that if you guys miss uh, The big thing about the last episode is we got flint steel So now we can build over to the nether and go in there, which will be really 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 cool um, I figured we uh, pop on over here um, do a oh my gosh pop on over to the lag part of lag city part of the uh, map How you guys doing? Let me collect all your sh me collect all your things Let me collect all your things. Ow, stop. Just stop. You're, you're landing on me, and it's, <laughs> it's hurting Stop it, please. Stop it now All right so We got that we'll go over here we'll check out what these guys got going on. Oh, it's a party. Yeah, it's a party Boom! Not a party anymore. Oh, hey, Mr. Zombie. And, oh, just, just, just enough durability on that thing. Oh, no! <laughs> it's an angry zombie testificate thingy. Why, why, why did you kill me? Why did you kill me? I have no problem with your, ooh, shard minium, nice. Uh, I had no problem with your people until you decided to be a biosh. Does this thing ever work? Ow. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think this thing that we tried to build up here works. Um, either way. Okay. 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 You know, I don't know if we really need this. Only re The only big reason for this is, um, really spiders. And I don't think we totally need them. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna decommission this for a second. Or for a little bit and just see how that works out. Again, stop. You made me kill you with my with my silk touch. You guys are just annoying me. Okay. So we've got all this stuff. Uh, boom, boom, boom. And then this stuff will go up here. Boom. And boom. We should really, we should really organize this a little bit more. Um, we should really try to make like an actual chest room. I think we should do that. Make a nice little chest room. And I think it'll look good. Um, it's still not nighttime. Okay, so let's head over to the sky den and see what jobs we can start going for. Mr. No Boss, what is our next right, sir? Welcome again, New Blood. What's on your mind? Um, I don't need replacements. I want to complete further rights. Oh, the right of magic. Okay, you've done almost all you can for us. I wonder now if you're willing to take your abilities even further. The Arcanist can teach you the ways of thaumaturgy trapped up here as you are i'd say the power to turn one thing into another thing is just about as useful as it gets he wants some items i've marked down and you need to show him you can you're capable of making a magic wand too hmm me i don't mess with that stuff haha <laughs> magic gives me the heebie jeebies <laughs> the heebie jeebies well that's nice thank you so we now have the right of magic which we we need to give him one potion one wand of apprentice and one gas tier. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, the no boss has given me the new right to take my first steps on the road to thaumaturgy. I must bring a number of magical items to the arcanist, and in return, he will give me something to help me begin my thaumic experiments. The potion he wants is a splash potion of harming two. He also says, 
I need only present my wand. He will give it right back to me when I turn this in. Okay, so I can make the wand of apprentice, and he's just going to see that I made it. That's good to go. Okay, so let's go talk to the arcanist. Hey, buddy. By the way, I can use your stuff now, can't I? Um, I should enchant some stuff. Anyway. Arcanist. Yes, good to see you again. How can I help you, pilgrim? Um, do you need any help? No. So all you have are all you have are the trades, and they're not really good trades. Although that soul sand looks pretty good to grow some nether wart if we can get our eyes on some nether wart. Merchant, do you have any work? You don't either. Fantastic. And yours are. We should get some rubies and sapphires and some um, sapphire, sapphires, and rubies. They're all the same, like durability-wise, I'm pretty sure. Um, but So that could be cool. We could turn that stuff in. I'm not really sure why I would need emeralds, but oh well. Okay. Hey, pup. Hey, pup. How you doing, bro? You're going to be the null boss one day? Are you his, like, you guys do look the same. You do. You got the little, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Mr. Hunter. How many legs does it take to get to the Tutsuro center of a Tootsie Pop? Alright. We could really use some armor. We should really try to make that up and try to get to the point where we can have armor. Um, so that's uh, 310. Oh, so 20 gold nuggets can get us the full chainmail armor. Let's remember that. The herbalist. Um, I don't need to trade. Blaze powder gives us whatever. Cinder pearl, whatever that is. Shimmer leaf. Um, and I think we're good on this point, too. And I'm not sure why I need snow. Although, I guess we could, we'll probably need it for whatever that frosty thing is. Okay. Also, do you have any, um, ha, ha I need some melons. I need them bad. Okay. You've already mastered almost all there is to farming, but you still don't have melons. And what good is a farm without melons? Not much good at all, that's what I say. I give you some melon seeds if you'll do me one last favor, okay? Okay. All I need for you to do is bring me a potion of invisibility. That it's for a serious experiment, and if you think I'm going to use it to spy on the hunter, you're very mistaken and wrong. Um, okay. <laughs> the hunter's right over there. You just, just, or do you, do you think he's cute? Do you want to, do you want to ask him out? He's right over there. All right. Whatever. Okay. So now we have a job. The herbalist has some melon seeds for me at, at um. At last, the final crop to round out my collection. She only wants a potion for it. Specifically, a three-minute potion of invisibility. I should be able to brew up a potion like that with what I have available. So, oh, we should be able to do that. Um, okay, so, uh, if I'm not mistaken, right, uh, Fritz, we're going to need you very, very soon, buddy. Um... We can go get a bunch of wheat and turn it in. I think that's... Oh, dude, gunpowder for days. Dude, we have no use for gunpowder. We'll go turn in a bunch of gunpowder. Um, so let's go grab the gunpowder. We'll turn that in because once we give him uh, that, he'll give us um, gunpowder and we'll need that to make a gold carrot. Because if you guys don't know, to make a potion of invisibility... Um, what is it? It's... um. Okay, it takes a gold carrot. Okay, so it's, it's, I'm trying to remember without trying to look it up. It's, um, a water bottle plus nether wart, which gives you an awkward potion, uh, plus a gold carrot, which will give you a potion of night vision, plus a fermented spider eye, which should give you a potion of invisibility. And I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Okay, we can actually look that up. Um, invisibility. Okay, so a potion of invisibility. Um, is that, okay, uh, so, um, okay, so, okay, so I got it, so, the, um, the night vision will give you the potion of invisibility, the gold carrot, the, ha, ha I am correct, that is how you do it, bro, and then the potion of harming, which is a potion of harming too, which that just, that's adding glowstone to it, um, Potion of Harming 2. So, let's just make a Potion of Harming. So, uh, there's two ways to do it. To get your instant... Oh, that's damage. I want Harming. Harm. 
How do you make potion? Where's the potion of harming? Um, strength, slowness, poison, speed, damage. Is damage harming? Maybe it is. Maybe that's what they call it in here. Okay, that, that must be what they call it. Instant damage. Okay, so you take a fermented spider eye and add it to either a potion of healing or a potion of poison. You need glycerine melon for that, which we can't do that. So uh, go back. So we're going to need to make a, po a potion of poison, which is a spider eye plus that, um, plus an awkward potion. So we're going to need three nether wart, three spider eyes. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. This is going to be. This is going to be epic. All right, get rid of that. Okay, cool. So the first, um, obviously the first step is to get over to the nether because we're going to need to make, um, uh, what are they called? We're going to need to make a brewing stand. And to get a brewing stand, we're going to need uh, a <laughs> blaze rod, which is going to be weird. I don't know what the nether looks like. I can't recall. I, I don't know if it's just like a little platform with a nether portal. I don't really know what's in there. I, wait, is... I think nether wart's in there. I think like one nether wart and one soul sand is in there, which we can get one nether wart and we can grow a nether wart in the overworld. So it's not like we have to grow the nether wart in the nether and like go back and forth the whole time. Um, I am unsure though if it grows faster in the nether. I'm, I don't know. We could probably do an experiment once we have enough. We'll probably grow it in the overworld and then we can do an experiment. Unless you guys want to tell me in the comment section whether or not nether wart grows faster in the nether. But then again, for anything to grow in the nether, I think you actually have to be present, which kind of sucks. Okay, so uh, flint and steel, let's uh, pop that bad boy on and let's hop into the nether and let's go see what it looks like. Alrighty then, so we got a chest. Um, we've got something over there. Alright, um, it doesn't look like anything else is around. Okay, what's in here? Can I... Can I get in here? Ha ha! One nether wart. Thank you very much. Bonus, man. That's awesome. Okay, so um, I think we want to build over there uh, to see what that is. So we're going to need some cobblestone. Cobblestone is the key to the nether because cobblestone um, cannot be destroyed by, like, gas. So if gas spawn, uh, they can't destroy cobblestone. Uh, we should probably, like, make some type of tunnel to be, like, really, really safe about it. But, all right. Let's put torches down. Because we do not want the mob spawning. Alright, there we go. Alright, also we need to fill this in with grass so we can get it long going. Okay, so many, so many, so many things going on here. Okay. Um, put that up there. Um, silk touch, I don't need you at the moment. Ho, I don't need you. So, nether war. Okay, so really quickly, let me grab a sword. What we need to go do is we no need to go do our first trades with Fritz. And what I want to do is grab... Um, all this gunpowder and see how much it stop it no one cares about you all righty then so ah let me throw mr. Fritz how much um, can I get for all this gunpowder eight six eight all right, so each stack is going to give us eight gold nuggets. Let's kind of remember that. Bonus. Look at all them gold nuggets. Okay, so now that we have these gold nuggets, we can go... Um, I never used the store. Okay, uh, was it... Who gave me soul sand? Was it you? Um, any materials? Haha, -ha, it was you. So I'm going to need some soul sand, sir. 16 should do just fine. Thank you very much. And, um, hmm, let's see. Uh, we're going to need a shard eventually because a shard is what's used to make a uh, wand. So we'll need to keep that in mind. Merchant, do we need any of your trades? We, we decided you don't have work. Okay. Um, oh, haha, we can um, get some good stuff going on. So let's go with the sapphire. So one, two, three, four. Um, so that's a soul. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two three four oh wait wait what am i doing okay i only need two i want i want a sword that's all i want okay so we got that going on um and then how much do we have left 
gold, those many gold nuggets, and then I can go to the hunter, go back to the hunter, and say, can I get a chainmail helmet, a chainmail chest plate, a chainmail leggings, and chainmail booties. Thank you very much. And now we'll go over to the Arcanist and use his, his uh, his, oh my god, what is this? Enchant. Can use. No, this action allows you to selectively add enchantments to an item. Oh my god. Okay, um, what's the difference? Okay. Oh my god, are you serious? We can actually choose? Oh my god, this is amazing. Um, protection. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Um, okay, um, okay, uh, we don't need, uh, we don't really need much, um, might need blast, fire protection, that's what we need, fire protection, um, fire protection too, wait, why, why can I not, why can I not enchant it, I don't know how to, okay, uh, can use no this uh, can use no this action allows you to transfer enchantments from one item to another holy crap repair can use This action allows you to repair damaged item this action allows you to selectively remove enchantments to an item holy crap. Oh my god Okay, so if I say fire protection one um, Oh, and th does that mean it's gonna take add two so if I do oh My god, that's amazing Okay, so, dude, this is this is awesome. Okay, fire protection two. Um, add it to it. Yes, and then we can also add thorns if we want to, which I think we're good. Oh my god, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, uh, da 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 protection, protection three, um, thirteen, um, and then. How much is Aqua Infinity? Five? Oh, we don't need that. Okay. And then leggings. So we got blast protection, regular protection. We could go for um, blast protection. We'll go projectile protection. Um, how much is that? Eight. Um, um, okay. Projectile protection. Boom. Or wait, how, what else could we add to it? Nothing. Okay. And then um, boots. We can just put um, top blast protection on. No, blast protection. That'll work. Oh my god, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh. Dude, that thing is awesome. Dude, let's go home, man. Fritz, you're the boss, man. You just unlocked all that crap for us. Holy crud knuckles. Okay, so, um, uh, where's all our dirt? What'd I do with all the dirt? Here it is. Okay, I wanna I wanna fill this in, and I might make the yard bigger than this. We have a lot of dirt, and we could go through the trouble of making our yard much bigger than this. I just wanted some type of yard so animals might actually spawn. I'm actually a little surprised they haven't spawned, to be perfectly honest. Maybe it's because we're always on the one little bit of grass we have uh, that might have something to do with it. All right. Just gotta get that grass going, bros. Gotta get the grass going. I'm so excited to go to the nether and find out what's over there. Um, maybe it's, uh, I th oh wait, is it a blaze spawner? That would make sense if it's a blaze spawner. Um, I, cause I think like the item wasn't like really showing. So I, I think it would make sense if it's a blaze spawner. So we'll see about that. We're gonna have a full yard here in a little bit. Woo woo. Yeah, boy, it's it's me. All right. Look at all this dirt. I'm loving that we're starting to finally get to the point where that stuff is renewable. We can get dirt, we can get stone, we can get sapphires, we can get soul sand, we can get we can get a lot of things that are heart desires and I'm finally glad we're to that point in the sky den. Oops. Boom 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 boom. Boom. This is gonna be awesome! Sweet, sweet, sweet. And then the last thing I wanna do is go ahead and do that, and then boom, boom. Look at that, guys. Look at this. Look at this green sapphire. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what we should do really quickly is head back over there, go into here, and uh, 
Where's looting? I want looting. Looting. Um, looting three. How much is that going to cost? 25? What about looting one? Six? Oh, man. Okay, so looting's... Oh, wait, how much is looting two just so I can know what I need to aim for? Um, looting two cost 14. Okay, cool beans. All right, so we know what we got to do to get looting because looting will help us get maybe some more spider eyes and whatnot like that. So we've got we've done a lot today on Sky Grid, or not Sky Grid, <laughs> Sky Den. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was really a very, very eventful and like very productive uh, episode of Sky Grid. Why do I keep calling this Sky Grid? Sky Den. And I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys hit the like button. If you guys are new, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Who knew we'd have chainmail armor and a sapphire sword? See you guys later. Deuces. Thank you.